The main components of the PTD Top Stop Injector include Filter Screen Adjustable Orifice O-rings Injector Cup Injector Return Spring Injector plunger Washer Top stop adjusting screw Top stop lock nut Injector link Check ball Fuel inlet Barrel Metering orifice Drain port Fuel return The injector plunger is actuated by rotation of the camshaft injector lobe. When the cam follower roller is on the inner base circle, the injector return spring has lifted the injector plunger uncovering the metering orifice. The period of time the metering orifice is uncovered is referred to as metering time. When the cam follower roller is on the outer base circle, the downward movement of the injector plunger has overcome the injector return spring, closed the metering orifice and injected the metered fuel into the combustion chamber. The injector plunger is now seated in the injector cup. Fuel entering the injector flows through a wire mesh filter screen and an adjustable orifice located beneath the filter screen. The size of the adjustable orifice determines the flow rate through the injector and therefore the pressure at the metering orifice. From the adjustable orifice, fuel flows down an internally drilled passage unseating a check ball. The purpose of the check ball is to prevent the reversal of fuel flow as the plunger moves downward across the metering orifice during deceleration and shutdown. The time during which the metering edge uncovers the metering orifice is the time available for fuel to flow into the cup. This begins as the cam follower roller travels down the retraction ramp toward the inner base circle of the camshaft injector lobe. As this occurs, the injector return spring lifts the injector plunger, uncovering the metering orifice. During this time, flow through the drain port is blocked by the injector plunger. Metering of fuel occurs during the entire time the cam roller is on the inner base circle. With continued camshaft rotation, the cam roller travels up the injector ramp and the upward movement of the push rod pushes the injector plunger downward. As the injector plunger moves downward, it closes off the metering orifice, completing the metering cycle. Shortly after the metering orifice is closed, the drain port is uncovered. The point at which the plunger makes contact with the fuel is determined by the volume of fuel in the cup. With an increased fuel level, the injector plunger contacts the fuel earlier, thus advancing the beginning of injection. Fuel will be injected when the pressure exerted on the fuel by the downward movement of the injector plunger exceeds combustion chamber pressures. Injection ends when the plunger bottoms in the cup. Shortly before reaching the outer base circle of the injector lobe, the roller travels over the cam nose, which effects a positive ending of injection. With injection completed and the injector plunger bottomed in the cup, the cam roller is now on the outer base circle of the camshaft injector lobe. While this is happening, the drain groove on the injector plunger has aligned the drain passages in the injector barrel, permitting fuel to flow out of the drain groove and return to the tank.